past couple of times we've done, I'll save you things, so I thought we'd do a wee sweet treat today. Hopefully it's stuff that you'll have in your cupboard, um, but we can always do a bit of improvisation. Right, so I'm going to start off with my margarine. I've got 115 grams of margarine in the bowl. You can use butter um, or any type of cooking margarine would be fine. Just soften that down and then I'm going to add to that 115 grams of soft brown sugar. Now you can use white caster sugar um, if that's all you've got in the house. The brown sugar, it's got molasses in it so it gives it a nice chewy texture. Uh, the white sugar tends to make them a bit more crispy. Depends how you like your cookies. So just to cream that together with a wooden spoon. It's nice and soft. Then I'm going to add to that one egg and some vanilla extract and don't worry if you've not got vanilla extract they're just as good without it so a teaspoon of vanilla extract goes in there remember don't forget to tidy up as you go along keep your kitchen nice and tidy so just beat in your egg and your vanilla extract and then we're going to go in 150 grams of self-raising flour Again, if you've just got plain flour, that would do just as well. Just stir that in. And then I'm going to add some porridge oats here. So I've got 75 grams of porridge oats. These are fantastic to add because they're high in fibre. Now, cookies, are, they're not really healthy, but we can make them slightly more healthy by adding some porridge oats, which are really good for you. Help to reduce cholesterol in the blood and increase your fibre. Right, don't over mix it because you don't want the mixture to become too soft. So I'm happy with that, that's ready to add my chocolate chips. Now I haven't got any chocolate chips but I've got a couple of bars of Aldi's chocolate which is perfect for this. It would be really good if you could do a bit of experimenting. I'm going to add some milk chocolate and some white chocolate and I'm very fortunate to have some of this in my cupboard because I have to hide it in my house it seems to disappear and every time I find a new hiding place somebody seems to find it so I'm just going to do half a bar of I prefer chocolate like this than chocolate chips because I think you get nicer chunky bits of chocolate through your cookies. Now you'll see I've put out a few different things for different ideas that you can add so just work with what you've got in the house and see what creations you can come up with. Maybe Chocolate and orange is a really good combination. I've got some cranberries there, cranberry and white chocolate works well, or sultanas with some cinnamon is also quite nice. But for these ones I'm just doing a combination of... And what you could do is you could actually split the dough, which I think I'm going to do, um, and you can do half and half, because some of my family like cranberries, some don't. So. I'm just going to split it down the middle of the bowl, I'm not going to dirty another bowl. Right, so just mix that through and then get yourselves a couple of spoons. A couple of bacon trays. I've put some greaseproof paper on here just because I'm lazy, but you could just grease the tin with a little bit of margarine right, and that will work just as well. So take little dollops of your mixture. You don't need to squash it down, it will flatten down in the heat of the oven. Just leave a little space between them because they will expand. And you'll get about 20 out of this mixture, depending on how big you make them. So that's 
one tray ready for the oven. I'm going to add some cranberries to this mixture. As I say, white chocolate and cranberry works really well together. So we'll just mix up some cranberries up and give that another wee, wee mix.